Martin here, your editor of the Jacksonville Bride. We are here today to talk to Kim Tasha. She is the owner of Kim Tasha Pro Makeup Artist. And we're just gonna do a demonstration for you today about getting your makeup done by a professional. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into makeup artistry. I started when I was 19. Oh, um, wow. I used to work for MAC Cosmetics in Hawaii. So that's my beginning and where I started with makeup and okay. just grew, grew with the company, grew with my love of makeup artistry and decided to eventually go out on my own. So now do you focus on brides or who's your client now? My bread and butter, who I work with mostly, are brides, so okay. with weddings. But I do makeup for all sorts of events, magazines, television. As far as photography, tell us how you can help brides achieve the look they want when it comes to their pictures. Sure, I think it's really important to be able to create a very smooth and flawless foundation. Okay. So just making sure that the skin looks really even and beautiful, but not cakey. I think that's key because mm -hmm. all of that picks up in photography and videos. Okay. And you also want to make sure that you look beautiful and flawless in person. It's not definitely want to look great and beautiful in your photos, but in addition, you want to look great in person. So right. I think it's important for everything to just look really natural right. and beautiful as far as the skin. Now, do you suggest that your brides do trials every time before a wedding or will you just go straight to a wedding? What do you tell your clients? I definitely recommend a a trial mm -hmm. because it makes the client feel comfortable about how they're gonna look because we're creating I'm creating a look that's that they're gonna wear on their wedding day and we're customizing mm -hmm. it so it makes them feel comfortable and also makes me be able to meet my bride before the wedding day do you tell your brides to wash their face before they come to you and put their moisturizer on before you and do they put sunscreen on before you you know tell us about how to prep before you come in to do your job? That's such a great question. A lot of times for the trial appointment, the client wants me to see how they normally wear their makeup, so they'll come in with okay. makeup on, which I think is That's great. a good idea. They can either do that or show me pictures of what they normally look like. And I have makeup rem removing wipes that can take mm -hmm. off the makeup. Um, on the wedding day, I definitely recommend washing your face and just having a little bit of moisturizer on. Okay. And I'll come in and do a little bit more moisturizer mm -hmm. and sometimes if we need SPF I'll put a little bit of that on. Now what about the bride that wants to come in and she wants the total glam look? She wants mm -hmm. the shadow, the bright lip. Now do you suggest that maybe she start with a, a, a softer palette and maybe build on it that way you don't yes. give her the glam Definitely. and then she freaks out? Someone that's used to wearing you know, chapstick or something that's very, very natural. Mm -hmm. I don't recommend for them to go with like this bold, right. matte lipstick <laughs> because they're not going to feel comfortable. Right. So I always start off more with a natural touch and then build up that look. Okay. And people feel comfortable that way. Right. Because it's easier to add than to take away. Do you lean more towards doing a natural style or do you, you know, throw in all of the color? What do you love to do? With me, I can do it all. Okay. I feel very confident in my ability to mm -hmm. do all sorts of makeup. But for weddings, there's something special about weddings. Right. Um, I tend to want to keep it very classic. Okay. And I want to pick up on the person's personality. So if someone is into bright red lipstick, I'm going to do bright red lipstick Go on their wedding it. day. If okay. they have beautiful skin, I'm going to enhance that. Okay. If someone loves black eyeliner, and has really big, beautiful eyes, I'm gonna enhance and, and put eyeliner on them, right. black eyeliner. So you're really trained to, to look at a girl and say, this is what's gonna make you look the best. Yes, definitely. And, and then you just run with it. I do, I run with it. And a lot of times I have clients that will do things on themselves that don't look good on them. <laughs> you know, they don't look good right. on them in person or in photography, and I'm really honest. Okay. And my clients, they take into consideration my opinion about it so right. we'll work together sometimes we have like a happy medium okay you love black eyeliner you know I think it's a little bit too much for your eye shape because mm -hmm. I'm looking at features okay it's not just my opinion it's it's factual you don't want your eyes to look too small so I may do like a dark brown okay instead okay and that's kind of like a little halfway point right we're both happy right because it gives a definition of your eye mm -hmm. and then you you still it still looks really beautiful Tell us a little bit about what you're seeing in the trends right now. Sure. What I see in the trends is just really beautiful, flawless skin, very natural, not cakey or heavy. Okay. 
nice wash of color on the cheeks. It just gives a really beautiful, youthful look. Right. And then color on the lips, whether it be a, a gorgeous pink or coral. Yes, I do think that that's, that's beautiful right. for brides. Big, beautiful eyes with eyeshadow with a little shimmer is really nice. Mm -hmm. And lashes. Lots of mascara. If you want to try false lashes, I definitely encourage that. Yeah. Love false lashes. And you do false lashes. I do. I apply false lashes. I customize the lash to your eye shape. So I have full band lashes that are available or individuals. Tell us a little bit about the wedding day and makeup. So how do you schedule, how do you schedule for you to come in and get it done and, and not be running late or sure. have any problems? What's your procedure? Really big into scheduling. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that everything is on time mm -hmm. and that we don't feel rushed. I arrive 15 minutes before I get started with makeup, a half an hour for each additional person to the bride. Okay. And with the bride, it's 60 minutes. It's oh, an wow. Hour. Okay. So that just gives us a really nice buffer. She won't feel rushed, mm -hmm. I won't feel rushed, and everyone's happy. Do you suggest that brides pay for all of the products that you use, go out and buy them in case they need to reapply? I mean, what do you do no, for that? I actually give my clients a little to-go bag oh, sweet. with blotting sheets and a sample of their lip color and okay. a lip brush. That's great. Yeah, and I also waterproof seal around the eye area. Oh, wow. So there's they don't have to worry at all if when the tears come. If they're you know yeah. what? It's going to stay on. Right. I really want to let our brides know, what is the number one thing to look for in a makeup artist? You want to make sure that your makeup artist is licensed. I okay. think that's really important just to make sure that they have the knowledge. And when you say licensed, you mean an esthetician, correct? Yes. Because yes. that is law now. It is law. Okay. Either an esthetician or a facial specialist. Okay. The makeup artistry falls under that license. Right. So definitely ask them if they're licensed. Mm -hmm. You can ask to see their license if you want to. Right. That's fine. But it's all public information. I mean, okay. You can go online and find that out. And it just protects the client, make sure that their brushes and, and cosmetics are all sanitized. Right, that's so important. Yes, it is important. And you wanna make sure that your makeup artist is skilled to do all people, you know? Right. Because sometimes you may have a request to do a grandmother or a mother. It's not only young, True. beautiful brides, mm -hmm. it's, it's everyone. I mean, everyone's beautiful. There's beauty in everyone, but you just have to have the knowledge and ability to create beautiful makeup artistry on everyone. Wow. Tell our brides how they can get in contact with you and book their appointment for their wedding sure. day. Sure. My website is www.kimtasha.com and my email address is kka at kimtasha.com or my phone number is 904 535 1755 and you can call, email me, text message me. Before we go, uh, Kim Tasha actually did my makeup today, so we're just gonna show you a little quick clip of how she did it. And uh, thank you so much You're for welcome. being with it us today, Kim Tasha. Really a pleasure. <laughs> thank thank you. you.